Hi folks, welcome back to another video. Now we've got a bit of a treat for you today. Now we're used to testing out some pretty obscure budget components on this channel and generally going for the lower end. Uh, but today I've splashed out and I've actually brought an RX 5600 XT uh, off eBay. And uh, we're going to be putting it through its paces in 2023. I hope you enjoy the video. My name's Andy and this is Andy's Tech and we're back again today with another budget GPU review and an offering from Team Red this time. Now over the recent few weeks and months I've been testing out some budget systems and GPUs with the likes of the RX 580, GTX 970 and recently the GTX 1660 Super, all of which are great budget cards for us thrifty thrifty pc gamers but the recent wave of new pc titles has pushed the bar ever higher for what is acceptable as a budget gpu now with the likes of the 7000 series and the nvidia 4000 series gpu lineup which means it's pushed the slightly lower tier cards down the list and we can pick up these rdna uh, generation one cards for even cheaper now like this RX 5600 XT I picked up on eBay the other day for £100. But what can it do? Is it our, our new saving grace? Is it the new uh, RX 580? Well, let's find out. The Radeon RX 5600 XT launched on January the 21st, 2020. It's built on the 7 nanometer process and based on the Navi 10 graphics processor. It features 2,304 cores, 144 TMUs, 64 ROPs, and it has 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 uh, VRAM with a bus of 192 bits. Now it's on par with a GTX uh, 1070 Ti or RX Vega 64, uh, with the GTX 1080 coming in slightly above it and uh, the likes of the 1660 Ti and RTX 3050 slightly below it at about 10%. Now on paper this should perform really well. I mean really we're looking for a card with sort of solid solid mid-range budget performance. So we're looking to get like 60 FPS in those harder to run titles. Uh, obviously it supports all the latest drivers from AMD. It requires an 8-pin supplemental power connection uh, with a suggested PSU of 450 watts, which is nice. It has a TDP of 150 watts and you can pick these up readily on sites like eBay, Facebook Marketplace for around 100 to 125 pounds. Uh, this particular pow power color uh, card we have here today is in mint condition. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't even look like it's been in a PC. So I don't know what it's been doing uh, for the last three years of its life. Uh, so yeah, it should perform well. Uh, there was a launch price of 279 US dollars. So it's come down quite a bit. Uh, it has a bus interface of PCIe 4.0 times 16 but it will still work fine in a PCIe 3.0 system. It's not like the uh, RX 6500, which only has four lanes. It's a full 16 lane card. A uh, test system today is my reasonably priced secondhand slapped together NZXT build with a i5-12500 uh, H610 motherboard. Uh, 16 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz ram there's a 512 gig m.2 ssd and it has an nzxt uh, 850 watt uh, power supply as well i activated windows on this build today using a windows key from premiumcdkeys.com they've got an awesome website and are my number one source for any windows license keys i ever need you can pick up and get your install activated for under £5. And what's more, you can now get 7.5% off any key on their website as well using this code, which will also be in the video description down below. What's more, it helps the channel out, so what's not to love? Uh, so that's the card, that's the test system we're going to be running it in today. So let's now it's slapped in there, we're all ready to go. I think we should, uh, we should throw some games at it. Hope you enjoy the benchmarks. So first up on the benchmark list today, uh, and I've gone for Overwatch 2. Uh, I've set this at uh, the default settings for the game, which was 1080p Ultra. 
uh, with some resolution scaling at 64, 67%. Uh, I think it was. Uh, now, a game like this is this card's bread and butter. And uh, yeah, it performed It performed admirably here with a 200 average FPS, 1% of 152 and 0.1% of 41. If you're going to be playing uh, games like this, you know, uh, Apex Legends, stuff like that, Rocket League, any sort of uh, eSports titles, uh, this card is going to be more than enough for you. So yeah, pass pass for overwatch 2 and uh, next on the ladder of demandingness uh, i've gone for call of duty modern warfare 2 uh, 1080p ultra settings again uh, with fsr quality and we saw an average of 100 fps here uh, with 1% to 73 and 0.1% of 27 really nice experience here in uh, modern warfare 2 and one of the only fps games i can actually play uh, we came top of the board here in this match, actually. Uh, I mean, you could turn the, the preset down to balanced uh, and you would see 120 FPS average, maybe a little bit more. Uh, you could probably even swing a, a high refresh rate experience if you dropped it a little bit more. Uh, so Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare 2, more than playable, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Dirt 5 next, a uh, new one to the benchmarks. I wanted to try and mix it up a bit here today and in introduce a, uh, a driving game. Uh, but Forza 5 is uh, just insanely big to download. So we've got Dirt 5. They're running the built-in benchmark uh, at 1080p high settings. We returned a nice average of 91, 1% 1 of 78, and basically the same 0.1% of 76. Uh, pretty much buttery smooth uh, experience all round in Dirt 5, uh, which did surprise me because it does recommend a... Uh, RX 5700 as the recommended GPU uh, but yeah lovely experience in Dirt 5 uh, you, you would have a, a whale of a time uh, playing playing this game with this card so moving on and uh, our first triple A title of the day uh, Cyberpunk a couple years old now uh, but still very demanding on, on GPUs uh, 1080p high settings here with FSR quality we returned an average of 65 FPS with 1% 1 of 42, 0.1% of 32. Really nice experience here in Cyberpunk and uh, definitely playable. Um, I would personally turn it down to medium settings uh, just to keep uh, the percentiles up a bit. Uh, but I, I completed this game when it first came out at 30 FPS on a GTX 1650. So this is an awesome experience in my opinion. And for £100 we paid for this card, can't really complain here. Moving on to Plague Tale now. Uh, now this is where the card uh, starts to struggle a little bit in those uh, percentiles, the 0.1 percents. 1080p medium. Uh, we've achieved a nice average of 67, 1 percents of 51. Uh, but just every now and again there was a little bit of a stutter. So we've got a slightly lower 0.1 percent of 26. I mean the game was, was more than playable uh, in my opinion. Uh, it's really demanding Plague Tale. Uh, it, can reduce quite a lot of GPUs to their knees. So with a 60 FPS average at 1080p medium, it's about what I expected really. Yeah, if you wanted to play through Plague Tale uh, on the 5600 XT, be more more than playable, and you'd have a have a really nice experience. So Sons of the Forest, and this is where it starts to get like uh, cringing your teeth. Uh, 1080p medium. Now we did see an average of 76 and 0.1% of 43. Look at the 0.1% figure, guys. Five. And we're just every now and again, the game just completely locked up. Um, I'm yet to actually find a system that doesn't do this. I think Sons of the Forest is just broken. Every so often, it just has a massive chug and the uh, the percentiles drop. It doesn't seem to matter what card you use or what system, processor, etc. It's just a really poorly optimised game, folks. I mean, yeah, you could play it, um, you know, but just be expecting that stutter every now and again. So it's still an okay, it's still an okay result, in my opinion. I guess, I guess a pass. Uh, last up, The Last of Us, uh, part one. 1080p here again medium settings with fsr quality uh, average of 73 which was nice to see and one percent of 51 and again our 0.1 percent figure of nine um yeah last of us it's just a, another example of one of these modern titles poorly optimized rushed out and we just suffer at the end of it you know 
Um, you should be expecting better percentile figures for a card like this and the price it costs, you know. Even like high-end GPUs these days, £300, £400 GPUs are struggling in the percentiles in these games. I mean, yeah, be certainly more than capable for, for playing through the game uh, at these settings. And I guess another gritted teeth pass here. I mean, the averages were good. Uh, so yeah, that will bring us to the end of the benchmarks today. And in conclusion, so the RX 5600 XT, budget banger powerhouse or best <laughs> best avoided. Um, it's hard to say really. I mean, for certainly for the price, one hundred pounds. Um, it's a pretty good pretty good card for the money. I mean, what else are you going to buy for around that mark? You've got the GTX 1070s. They're going for that. They do actually have the extra two gigabyte VRAM, being eight gigabyte cards. I mean, its its pitfalls are it does have six gigabytes of VRAM. Um, you can buy slightly better cards for for just a little bit more. Uh, the RX 5700, for example, can be had for about 130, 140 pounds, and that would be a better buy to go for, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it's definitely got its use case. It can still perform. I mean, you can play all of the latest titles at 60 FPS, 1080p, uh, with some sacrifices made. Certainly capping the game today uh, to 60 FPS in most of the titles uh, would have helped uh, with the percentiles and just helps smooth out the game a bit more. Um, yeah, I'm happy with my purchase. I think £100 well paid. Uh, I would certainly have this card over like a GTX 1660 Super. Uh, and I mean, we haven't even overclocked the card today. It was running at stock, so we could probably pull a little bit more out of it. Uh, with a bit of tweaking, uh, we could even undervolt the card as well, uh, just to bring down that power draw a little bit. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at this video. Uh, I'll definitely recommend this card for the sort of hundred pound mark. Uh, if you're nearing 120 or more, I would probably uh, give it a pass. Um, uh, so there we have it. That's the Radeon RX 5600 XT as it stands in 2023. A good little budget buy. Uh, I'll definitely recommend it if you can pick it up for cheap. £100, uh, I would snag one or even less would be even better. Anything over that really and there's going to be better options for you for a little bit more money. Uh, so thank you for watching the video. Uh, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, on this card. And any bargains you've picked up recently like it or if you think there's anything else you would uh, recommend over this card for the same price. Uh, please leave a like as well. Uh, it helps the channel out massively, helps promote the channel, helps promote the video. And it gives me the incentive to make more of these videos. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care. God bless. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one.